hoping this is going to work. Um, well, I guess I'll just have to give it a go and see if it does. Right, we're still in the Utia. I forgot the name of where we are because I'm messing about with the memory card. Um, it's another ruins. It's on the oh, it's on the west side. So a Utia is like an island. The river has been diverted to make a um, like a circle around it. So there's the old part of the city is a is an island in effect, a man-made island. And that's where most of the significant um, structures are. There's the big historical park, uh, Wat Mahapat. That's the one that's got the famous uh, Buddha that's been carved into the, the tree and all the trees grown around it, if you're familiar with the Yutia. Um, so this is, we've now gone back over the river, so we're off of the island. And uh, this is on the west side of a Yutia. Um, and as you can see, it's a beautiful, a beautiful old uh, structure complex and we've got that very common style we see now the uh, the very conical shaped uh, cheddy as opposed to those bell shaped ones we were seeing earlier let's bring you back down again pop you up um, oh we've got a bit of a God. Information board. Stucco relief panel depicting the scene for the life of Buddha. His first sermon. Um, yeah. uh, I've forgotten the name, unfortunately. I do apologise. Um, obviously, I'll put it in the links and descriptions. Now, you do have to pay to get in here. It's not a lot of money. It's uh, 50 baht for foreigners, um, regardless whether you, uh, whether you're, a, I say, tourist or a temporary guest on a, on a visa. Um, yes, you're treated the same. There's no distinction. You're just a foreigner. Um, 50 baht, just over a pound. What is it? Probably about one pound fifteen, one pound twenty. Um, it is what it is, 10 baht for, for locals, for Thais. So make of that what you will. It's five times, five times the admission fee, just because you're not Thai. So, here we have it. Uh, I'm not sure where I put my other camera, so I could take some photos, but obviously I've forgotten it, so. Right, as you can see, We've lost, well not we, the royal we, many of these seated Buddhas like we just had at the last place um, have been decapitated. Um, oh look, we've got a pair of beautiful, but very well-worn seated Buddhas there. Very unusual style as well. Look very regal. And up there, that beautiful central, central chedi. You'll have a, a walk through. I think we've got some more. Oh no, look, that one's completely completely gone do not sit or climb fair enough um, yeah I touched on it before the last place the uh, if you like this this kind of thing the really the really old 
temple ruins. Um, Ayutthi is the place to come. Uh, very, very accessible from from Bangkok. Uh, lots of ways to get here. Train, uh, even taxi. A taxi wouldn't be that much. Um, there's lots of kind of day trip vans that come up this way. Um, it's well worth it. I mean, I, personally, I would say you're going to be better off having your own wheels because then you can choose choose where you go. Um, but look, we've got another. I'm sure you see over there just a couple of seated Buddhas, Chedis. See, there's the river I was talking about. You can just see maybe over there. So in front of you there, that's the that's the island. That's the western edge of the island. Um, so right, I'm going to go around. These people seem to be taking their time, as is their want. Um, as you can, see, well, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's quite a lot of sand in water, and the the ground is rather soft underfoot and uh, yeah it's been pretty pretty rainy the last the last few few days um, but it is the rainy season so that kind of makes sense really but it's uh, it's that really clammy really clammy yeah uh, humidity at the moment because of the rainy season. Look, we've got more of those, more of those Buddhas here. They've lost their, their heads. Now, I wonder, I wonder how they have lost their heads. It seems a bit uniform for it just to be through age, old age and wear and tear. I'm wondering if it's due to uh, military action. I mean, as I understand it, this Ayutthaya was the former, the former capital. Um, in fact, it's known as the Ayutthaya period in Thai history. Um, and I also believe that was when they were they were trading quite a lot with the mainly with the port Portuguese um, so this is probably around 500 years ago or so um, oh, I wish I had my camera now that's a beautiful shot with those those two seated Buddha and the the Chedi in the background um, yeah so that the, obviously the Portuguese would would come via via ships they'd come at the Gulf of Thailand come up the Jao Praia River to a Yutia here um, and in fact I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it but just downstream from here there's a uh, uh, oh, I guess it would be Catholic uh, Catholic Church uh, oh that's a beautiful view um, so now I know that this was I believe sacked by the by the Burmese because it was around the time that the Burmese were a real present um, so I'm not sure if that's how those Buddhas have lost their heads it just seems a bit uniform the fact they've all lost their heads it's going to be just through old age Oh, we've got a nice breeze here. I'll just pan back so you can get that in all its glory. Beautiful. I mean, it is. It's, it's, it is like something out of uh, Indiana Jones. Um, I think it's stunning. I have done... Yeah, I mean, this was a long time ago. Um, you can do... Uh, like a dinner cruise along here over night time so 
uh, you, you go around the island um, and there's quite a few restaurants that do it um, but I know when you come past here at night oh, pan up this is all I don't know if you can just you might not be able to see it but they've they've got kind of quite powerful base floodlights around the the bottom there so at night it's all it's all lit up um, and you get this beautiful view as you come past on the on the boat so oh I've got a sweat on now uh, right well hopefully that's come out and it's got sound and uh, yeah, that's about it. Hmm, I won't labour the point. Right, I will see you later. I wasn't going to pop it on again, but I've, I'm just walking back another way, a different way that come before, so I thought I'd, I'd pop it on. It might be a, an addendum to the original. I wish I'd brought my camera to get those two seated Buddhas there because I just think they're absolutely stunning now it's interesting I mentioned obviously this is the Ayutthaya period which is its own its own era um, certainly for art culture you know it's one of the one of the famous eras of, of Thai history, um, the Ayutthaya era, um, or the Ayutthaya period. Um, but it's it's interesting. I'm not familiar with those that style of Buddha. Um, uh, there we have it. But, uh, yeah, fifty baht. I would uh, I'd recommend it. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's it's got some lovely grounds. It's obviously well kept. People cleaning. There's that bit of construction or repair work going on that we saw. So, yeah. Ooh, some unknown seeds. I don't know what they are on the ground. Um, Sorry, I keep panning you down to look at something and forget to pan you back up again. I'm out of practice. Right, let me pop my mask back on because it's, it's uh, obviously uh, fear level time. You know, gotta gotta propagandize. Got a propagandized health to, uh, well, a bit of social control. But, uh, that's all I shall say on it. I'm not going to get into the the whole debate. But, um, uh, oh. Hang it down again. Right, so there we go. That's that. Uh, 50 baht well spent. Uh, Hmm. Right, I'll pan you around and pop you off, I think. <laughs>